issues. Well, we seem to have relatively cooperative sky conditions today, and the new battery in the Pro Chrono is working great. So we're going to try to get some good crony readings for the Walther P22. We haven't haven't been haven't had a lot of success getting crony readings for the Walther so far. So we're going to attempt to do that right now. Make hay while the sun shines, as they say, or in this case, while the cloud shines. <laughs> All right, first up, we're going to try some Winchester silver tips because obviously those are really, really interesting. Then we'll go to the Aguila Super Extra 38 grain, the hollow point version. And we have eight shots loaded up in each one, just because for comparative purposes, eight rounds is the cylinder capacity of the Smith & Wesson 317. So seemed like the data would compare better that way. All right, getting about seven feet away and silver tips. Thousand nineteen. A thousand nine. Nine seventy nine. No read. A thousand two. Thousand eleven Error A thousand thirty two. Well, I think six shots is adequate for an average. Let's see how it did. The high was a thousand thirty two, the low is nine seventy nine, and the average was a thousand and eight. You know. Is it my imagination <laughs> or do those Winchester seem to do maybe just a tiny bit better out of the Walther than out of the Smith and Wesson? I don't know. We should definitely test them in gel out of the Walther. These might be, these might be a good uh, defensive round from the Walther. Okay. Delete string. Next up, the Aguila Super Extra 38 grain hollow points. Again, we've got eight loaded up. Get back a good seven feet, eight feet, maybe. A thousand feet per second. 999. How's that for consistency? Nine seventy six. Nine fifty seven. Nine sixty seven. A thousand and one. Nine seventy four. We are empty. High was 1,001, low was 957, seven shot average 982 feet per second. Not bad for the 38 grain Aguila Super Extra hollow point. 
I think that gives us some pretty excellent comparative comparative data for the Walther. The uh, the trigger is definitely getting broken in on the Walther, and it seems to be running uh, pretty well, feeding those rounds adequately. Let's try the ultimate test. Right now, we are going to put the Walther P22Q through its paces just a little bit. We have two full magazines, 10 rounds each, of 37 grain Winchester silver tip. And to me, this round seems like it would be a bit of a feeding challenge. That does not look like the nicest hollow point shape. And obviously, underneath the surface, these things are broken down into three little segments that sort of come apart when it hits uh, gel or tissue or any kind of a barrier. But we've got one in the chamber and two 10 round magazines loaded up, ready to go. We've got a target 15 yards away, just sort of checking in for point of aim, not really expecting a great deal of accuracy out of this or out of myself. But the trigger is getting broken in. This, uh, this Walther trigger that was so stiff at the beginning is starting to smooth out just a bit. So we will give it a try and see if it will load all 21 rounds without incident. Huh. Maybe if I took the safety off. Interesting. Safety works. Yeah, no idea where that round went, but yeah. No issues feeding. One more magazine to go. Goes in the battery. Walther seems to like the 37 grain Winchester silver tips. We're definitely gonna to have to give the silver tips a gel block test through the Walther. This is gonna be interesting. I think we may have found a defensive load that pairs really well with the P22. Thanks folks, this is Dave for DDR. Have a great week. All 12, no issues.